Greetings and welcome back to Dabadel Farm and Stardew Valley. We're in the last episode. I passed out at the front of my house and someone from Georgia came along, carried me off somewhere, got me treated for something that clearly wasn't wrong with me. I was just tired. Then has probably charged me like 8 million gold for it. Uh, I'm going to walk outside. There's going to be people here to repossess my everything. All right, let's see. The spirits are in good humor. Okay, they're having a good old chortle at my misfortune. Uh, it's going to be a beautiful sunny day tomorrow. That is good. Living off the land. Here's a tip for you adventurers out there. Don't forget your weapon's special attack. Swords can block incoming attacks, which is very useful when slimes are jumping at you. Clubs can pound the ground, sending enemies flying. And with a dagger, you can perform a super quick triple strike attack. Be safe. Uh, okay. I think that is quite possibly one of the first living off the lands that has actually been genuinely useful for me. My lord. I didn't think such a day would exist. Um, see if that is just tiled ever. I don't think it's gonna look good. Let me let me start. I'm gonna. I, I need to build up my courage before I try to place that down. Um, all right. Okay. Let's have a look. Right. We've got loads of things we need to uh, drop off. Okay. Let's see what the damage is. Last night, a Georgia team member found you snoozing happily on your farm, watched over by your horse. A medical team was dispatched to pump you full of Georgia chemicals so that you would always crave Georgia Cola like the good little underling that you are. We're glad you have now been repurposed into a loyal minion. You've also been billed 160 gold for this service. Morris, Georgia customer satisfaction representative, thief, evil overlord, darkspawn. Morris goes by many titles. Avak, I'm really glad you've become part of the community. I've enclosed 500 gold check from the Stardew Valley Agricultural Fund to help you continue your good work. Maybe you can buy me uh, buy some more seeds with it. Sincerely, Mayor Lewis. Thank you very much, Mayor Lewis. You know what? We need to drop off a whole load of stuff that we're carrying around, like all of that. Uh, oh, we also need to put that in the fridge. Dum -dum -dum -dum. Taking those. Honestly, I'm just going to sell those. Uh, and that can go in there. Okay, good. Now... We are going to want to be giving some people some gifts today. Uh, first and foremost though, let's go and do the watering and make sure everything is good. Is everything good? I think everything's good. Oh, we don't need to do any watering anymore. <laughs> Fantastic days are these. My plans have come to fruition at long last. And we can enter lazy mode, at least for this field. 100% lazy mode engaged. Also, let's gather some more um, hay while we can. Whoosh. Whoosh. Okay, that's good. Um, gather some more from down here. Um, no, no, false! I knew that was a mistake. What a silly fool I am. How come you're we What? Get out of it, you. I clearly need to grow more tree stuff. Be gone. Allow the tree to grow. It needs to breathe, damn it. Uh. Well, I'm gonna need a pine cone then. I've got loads. That's not gonna be too hard for me to do. Okay, well, next step then is to go and say hello to all of the animals. Make sure they remember that I love them all. Hello, Snuffkin. You'd never forget that I love you. You're incapable of thinking that, that I have any other intention for you than the best. You're a dog. Your loyalty is pretty much assured. If you were a cat, I'd need to reassure you, like, on an hourly basis, that you are actually my lord and master. Otherwise, you might decide to, like, knock all of my stuff off my mantelpiece. I'm on to you, ducks. I know you're just sitting over there plotting. Don't pretend to act cute. There's a reason why Steve likes ducks. Oops. Hello? Hello? Hello. Right, let me uh, sort out your hay as well. There we go. Now, interestingly, that mayonnaise made with the duck eggs looks very different. Also this. Hmm. However, as much as I am sure duck and mayonnaise will sell for a lot, we are going to put regular large eggs in there for now. Now, I'm suspecting that we're going to be able to move quite a lot of the industry stuff over to the industrial area today if I can manage to get a decent amount of work done. 
It all depends. Uh, we're going to sell those. Oh, damn it, I should have dropped off the eggs, actually, thinking about it. Um, yeah, we'll just go drop them those off and then go uh, check on the cows. No, Meta, out the way. There we go. Drop these eggs off. There we are. Ah, oh, I should have dropped off the strawberries. Uh, sorry, not strawberries. The uh, cherries and the apricot while I was there. Also, I would like to pop down the grass starters. There we are. Start getting the grass moving up around that area. Hello. Oh, you're so cute. Right, there we are. You know what? The last couple of days have been very dodgy with trying to milk you. I'm just going to give you a day off. Just enjoy it. That's it. You just just enjoy yourselves. Recharge your batteries. Do whatever you need to do. But please don't make that weird sound when I try to milk you. Oh my lord. It goes through me. Right, I'm going to spend the better part of the morning clearing up this area. So I will be back when that is all done. See you soon. Okay, there we go. So this is likely going to be the final shape of our industrial area over here. We'll probably fill this out with some more crab pots. And uh, actually, are there any bait in these ones? I'm not sure. Uh, no, there was not. Okay, well, that explains why we haven't got anything there then. Right, so we've got all of this set up, and that is fantastic. We'll just clear away a little bit more of the uh, trees from around this area. But ultimately... It's not really that necessary to this point. I would like to use hardwood fences simply because I won't have to maintain them as much. But at the same time, I know, I know, everyone says, look, hardwood fences last for like three or four times as long as, as stone fences. Why aren't you using hardwood fences? Stone fences look better. It's like the answer to almost every why don't you question that'll ever involve me. The answer is always going to be because this looks better. <laughs> Uh, but I'm not sure I really want stone walls around this little area. I'm not sure. It might be okay. Um, but that being said, it could also be especially nice if I had uh, little fences just, just to see through it. Like, maybe even iron fences would actually work okay here. Hmm, that is definitely an option. I could look at using iron fences. That would give it a much more industrial feel to it. But right now, it's, it's kind of got the look of a little courtyard. And I really like that. It looks it looks very inviting in a way. Uh, I do think we need some sort of barrier between it and the paths that are going to go around it, though. But what type of barrier is completely up for debate at the moment. If you have an opinion, do let me know in the comments whether you think iron fences might look alright. Or whether you are a massive fan of hardwood fences or even if you simply have uh, a bit of a thing for the humble old dry wall dry stone wall i imagine it's dry stone not bricks even though they look incredibly uniform i can't imagine anything but a dry stone wall needing maintenance the amount that these fences do right, there we go now all we need to do is run this down Hey there. All the way down. Now, eventually, we will also have it going all the way down and meeting up with the other path that is down there. But for now, we'll just do this. Oops, wrong place. Let's just fix that. There we go. And we are pretty much done. That wasn't too bad. How much time we got? Uh, 6.20. Sure. We've got plenty of time to go and uh, meet with our friends. Let's go and plant the pine cone, though. And 
later on tonight, I think, we'll, we'll come back and we'll set up all of the, um, the artisan, I want to say factories, but that's the wrong word. The artisan equipment, I guess. So the cheese press, the mayo machines, also any of the various equipment we've got up here at the moment, such as the furnaces, they all need to go down into that area. I'll wait to get a little bit of input from everyone on the debate on what type of fence to use, though, because I'm, I'm quite happy to incorporate other people's ideas with that one. And right, let's drop all of this off. We are doing pretty well here. In fact, we'll drop the walls off there as well, I think. Um, we've got a little bit of maple syrup. Could make another beehive. I don't think we will. Not until we've got enough to make quite a few. This, however, goes in there. Bring along the emerald. And come with. Drop off the stone as well. We are going to want to get ourselves another silo pretty soon, I would say. Um, everything else I kind of want with me. We'll see. Ooh, got some wine. Salmon berry wines. Fantastic. Drop off this, and these two, and a rhubarb, I think. Let's make some rhubarb wine. That is bound to be delicious. And drop that off in there. Okay, I'm pretty happy with what we're carrying now. Right, well, it is time for us to head out. See if we can't meet some of our friends, possibly at the saloon. It's about that time, or just coming up to that time, all of the chickens seem to have gone back into their coop, so it's a good indication that it is night after all. Now, there's a couple of things over here. Are those trees? Yes, that's not forage. That's tr those are trees growing, so nothing for us to play with there. It is now 8 p.m. Uh, will everyone have left the saloon? I'm not sure. We'll pop in and see if we can catch some of our friends in there. Hello. Ooh, cutscene. <sighs> What's up, Clint? Oh, it's very, very sombre music here. Reminds me of Chrono Trigger in many ways. Hello, Avak. Care to join me? Sure. I've always got time for you, Clint. Let me just go ahead and tell you what's on my mind. I have terrible luck with women, Avak. <sighs> I'm a nice guy if you get to know me, I swear. See, I don't know. <laughs> That's also what a lot of not nice guys say. My advice to you, don't say that. Um, I do I do trust that to be true in your case, but just, you know. The girls all seem to like you, Ava. Oh, well, I don't know about that. You're making me blush, Clint. Got any tips? Uh, impress women with your strength and your charm. Act crazy. Keep people guessing. Just act natural. Be yourself. Treat women the same as men. Um... Well, I would definitely be more towards the last two, though. The, the last one, treat women the same as men. I, I get what the sentiment is going for there, but the, the, the way that's worded is a bit weird. I would say treat everyone well, rather than treat women the same as men. Uh, that seems unnecessarily... Um, I don't know, it, it's like segregating things, even though it's actually expressing to treat people equally. Uh, I would just say treat everyone as people, basically. Just act natural. Be yourself. That's the problem. I do act natural, but I never have any success. Oh, oh, here's your chance. Act natural now, Clint. Hi, Clint. What can I get for you tonight? See that smile? Yes! Uh... Oh, dear. I I mean, I, I, I'll have the big and cheesy. With the extra sauce, please. Oh, my lord. Clint. Uh, hi, Avak. Hey, Emily. How's you doing? Uh, um, so thanks, Emily, for taking my order. Um, Emily, I was... I, I was wondering... Go on, dude. Yes, Clint? Go on, dude. I feel like certain everyone watching this video is also rooting for you. No, no, don't, oh, don't back out. No, Clint. Clint! Hi Shane, here's your beverage. Ah, oh, Clint, dude. Thanks, Emily. So, how's your shift coming along? It's fine. Thanks for asking, Shane. Do you have any new chicken stories for me? Chicken stories? Well... 
<sighs> I'm doomed. You're not doomed. <laughs> oh, you silly old man. Be glad you're a farmer, Avak. It's nice to work outdoors and buy a hot furnace all day. No, I don't think it is. Furnace is smell of happiness. Alright, Shane. Uh, have I given you two things today? I don't think I have. No, I can give you something. And where is Pam? Pam's down there. Okay, two beers coming right up. Here you go, Shane. Boink. Oh, wow, Havoc, how do you know this is my favorite? Psychic. Hey, sorry if I come off as rude when we first met. It takes me a while to warm up to strangers. That's all right, mate. I've been in that spot before. Here you go, Pam. Hey, hey, now this is really something. Thanks a million, kid. Hey, kid, I'd buy you a drink if I could afford it. Uh, it's okay. Hi there, Avak. I'm glad to see you. You're always welcome here. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, Daffodil? Oh, goodness, are you sure? Oh, Gus, you make me happy. Full of happiness. I wish Haley would get a job or at least contribute to the cooking and cleaning. I think she's hoping to marry someone rich. Uh, moving on. Rapidly. My lord, I think I dodged a bullet there. Thanks, Kasha. You are best wing horse. Okay, not going there today. Eight and nine twenty. We're probably not going very many places today. All right. Uh, do we have horseradish? We do. Crobus, Crobus, I'm coming for you, Crobus. I'm not sure if you have a good sleep. I'm not sure if you even need to sleep. But I'm coming. You just wait there. Aha. There we go. Hello, my non-sleeping friend. This is an amazing gift for my people. It is a great honor to receive something like this. Not sure why I think he's going to hiss. Or she. I don't know if Krobus is male or female. Maybe it's neither. Maybe Krobus just is. What a divine state of being that would be. Right, well, tis late. There are a few odds and sods that we can do. We have lost our opportunity, I'm afraid, to see Leah, which does sadden me. Significantly, actually. I feel really bad that I haven't seen Leah today. Damn it. Uh, oh, there we go. Yoink. Uh, let's just check on my state of friendship with people. Family's at eight... Uh, sorry, 10, Clinton, Evelyn, Leah's at 9, Abigail's at 9, Elliot, Caroline, Linus, and Penny are all at 8. Haley's only at 7, mind you. George is 7. Rasmodius is at 7, Marnie's at 7, Luce is at 7, Shane is at 6, Pam at 6, Robin at 6, Pierre at 5, same with Maru, Jody, Sam, Demetrius, Vincent's at 4, same as Gus, Willie, Jazz, Alex, Sub. Uh, sorry, Alex and Sebastian at three, Kent is at two, so is Harvey, and Krobus is at one. Sandy and the Dwarf, not very good friends with them. They barely even know that I exist. We must correct this. Now, while it's going on, um, we'll swing past this way and go up to our house, I think, tonight. Hey, Kent. You know what? I'm going to try and fish. Let's see if I can't catch us something nice for dinner tonight. <sighs> There's something nice about fishing at night. Sound of the crickets. The gentle sisiris of the stream. Hey, Shane. There we go. Small mouth bass. <sighs> nope, that was way too late. Okay, we'll have to go straight after this one. I'm not actually doing anything. This is my hook. The hook is just keeping that glue to the fish. What cheat hacks? 
Cheat Haksu. I don't like this. <laughs> I can't wait for it to wear out. Ooh. Come with me, Dandelion. I could do with the hardwood, actually, thinking about it, but oh well. Uh, let's head straight up. I need to close all of the uh, doors. We better do that quickly. That one's alright. Oh, I didn't let them out today. Scallywags. Ah, oh, well. Hopefully they'll forgive me. Take care, Akasha. I'll grab all of these. And... Uh, pickled corn. You know what? Cauliflowers. They're a fairly profitable crop. So let's drop those in there and increase their profit. Right, I'm going to rush outside and hopefully be able to sell this stuff before I pass out. There we go. That can go as well. As can these. The wine is staying with me. Right, off to sleep. No stop, Haub. It has been a busy day today. Ah. 23rd of spring, coming up. Made a little bit of money, not much, but it's fine. Okay, progress has been saved. We want a fair old chunk of cash prior to the switchover so that we can afford to buy a lot of new seeds the moment we get the changeover. Here we go. Ooh, we've got a big old harvest. Hi, how are you doing? I hope you enjoy the gift I've sent you. Well, goodbye. Oh, thank you very much, Emily. Uh... Dear Abak, tomorrow we're all getting together for the flower dance. If you can find a partner, you might even want to participate in the dance yourself. It's a little clearing beyond the forest, west of the town, where we hold the dance. Arrive between 9am and 2pm sharp, if you're interested. Melus. I don't know why I said sharp, because that is the wrong way to use that term. Right. Ooh, we've got a lot of things that we're going to be able to harvest. Oh my lord. Yep, you're coming with me, and you, and you. Awesome. Time to harvest so much stuff. I don't think there's any time for us to grow more. Well, actually, we could grow parsnips in the time that remains. We could happily grow more parsnips. So, yeah, we'll do that. Strawberries! So many berries of straw. Ah, uh, so much money. We are going to be filthy rich. Ah, good times. Uh, got some plants over there. We're not going to be able to grow these more plants before the time is up, which is fine. Let's grab all of them. We'll just leave the rest. I could happily pop more trellis cops on those edges, and I'm contemplating it, but I like the idea of having a source of flowers. Okay, well, that was actually pretty good. Got a lot of stuff there. Let's go and drop this off, though. Do I need that cloth for anything? I don't think I do. Let me see. Not going to be in the fish tank, nor is it going to be the chef, the dye bundle, nope. Uh, nope there as well, and uh, nope, okay. Well, we don't need it then. I can just flat out sell it then, if I want to. Right, I've got many, many strawberries, and I would like to drop some of them off. Uh, you're coming with me. And you are going in there. There we go. I approve. Also, you're going in there as well. Okay. That looks good. Let's get out of We've got so much money coming our way. We'll sell the low-quality crops, as usual. I'm going to sell all of those, simply because they're taking up so much room in my inventory. Uh, those can go. And these can go. Yep, that looks good. Ooh, also, we'll sell this. There we are. Now, if I really want to, I can use some of the crops that I've got in the seed maker, but... 
I'm not actually sure that I need to. I genuinely am not. I think I'm hurting PAs by doing that. By taking away the fact that I need to buy seeds from him. There we go. And I would hate for Ab Abigail's, you know, to think of me as the person who basically drove her father's business into the ground. Yoink. Uh, excuse me. Yoink. Yoink. Ooh, actually. We're not going to need this up here anymore. We're taking all of these with me. Yoink. Come on out. Now, this is going to be a temporary positioning of these things. I just flat out don't need to worry too much about where I put them. Uh, not just yet, at the very least. I just need to get them down so I can uh, do stuff while I'm out here. But understand that I will be putting them in a permanent place in the not too distant future. That was actually a good house. Wow. Got a lot of stuff out there. You get. It. I'll grab these as well. May as well while we're here. We want the bait. Perfect. Alright, off we go. To do pretty much exactly the same over here. Wow, okay. Harvesting. Want plenty of hay. There we go. Perfect. How much have we got? 176 or 408. We need a lot more. Wow, do we need more. Hello. I love I love the, the sound of the goats. Bonnie. Hmm? Right, let's get down some more of these. And this time I am going to try and milk them. There we go. One. Two. When are we going to get a large milk? That's the question. Three. Four. Now, are you a baby? Yes, you are. And you cannot be milked. Perfect. Right, off we go. This time you can come out and enjoy yourselves. Hopefully. I mean, I can't force them to come out. Or enjoy themselves for that matter. But I hope that they will. There we go. Again, we will be moving everything else out here shortly. Ah, see, I should have popped a bunch of um, the preserve jars down here. That was a bit of a derp on my part. Oh well, not much I can do about it now. Right, we're not going to worry about doing any more of the work around here. We need a lot of items. We need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so 39 more seeds. Um, I'm going to leave a couple in there just so I can make some more seeds later because the strawberries are a little bit harder to, to get the seeds for. I'm going to leave 10 in there. Need to drop off the crayfish. And then, Akasha, you can take me elsewhere. Uh, do we have periwinkles in here? Yeah, we do. Awesome. Right, we're ready to go. Akasha! Ooh, actually, before we do, where's Snufkin? Oh, you thought I'd forgotten you. Never, Snufkin. Never! I would never forget you. Alright, let's go. We've got to get to Piers rather rapidly. It's Tuesday, so we can buy things from Piers, thankfully. Uh, we'll grab those dandelions while we're here. There we go. I wonder if... Sandy would actually like those. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, guys, do you remember your lines? All right. Yes. Ready? Action! Oh, Shane, Shane becoming a little director? Oh, that's going to be great. I thought we had something special. I guess we were wrong. I, I, uh... Cut! I'm sorry. 
It's hard to remember my lines when their face is right in front of me like that. <laughs> oh, hey. Yo. Check out my new camera. Jojoko is having a video advertisement competition. The prize is 10,000 gold. Oh, I'm not sure I really... I mean... The 10,000 gold could like start you on a path that would get you away from Jojo, maybe. Hey, I want you to be in the shot, okay? Just walk by Clint and Emily in the background while they're talking. It'll give the scene a little more authenticity. Right oh Like this? Just just natural walking. Okay, ready? Yes. Action! I thought we had something special. You said you wouldn't leave me for anything. I guess that was a lie. No, it's not like that. This is just something I have to do. It's very important to me. I've just got to try new Jojo Blue Cola. It's got three times the so so sorbitol for a thick, sweet blast, and it's cheaper than water. Maybe. But, but, isn't soda unhealthy? You promised me. Have no fear, my dear. The world-class science team at Joja Headquarters have determined that Joja Blue does not cause a significant erosion of the stomach lining. So you can drink it whenever you like, as much as you like. The real question is, when will you turn blue? <laughs> Cut! That was perfect! I'm not sure I, I approve of my part in this. Thanks for the help. You're welcome, Shane. This is a sign of how much I value you as a friend that I want you to, to win that prize enough that I am willing to lie and be a part of a lie. Some sort of terrible, monstrous lie that is going to cause people's stomach lining to melt away. Uh, we, we, we should probably move. Oh, dear God! It's begun! His stomach lining has melted away so much he's turned blue! I'm not sure if that's actually what happens when you stomach lining runs away. I'm fairly certain it isn't, but, uh... Clint! Clint! Are you okay, Clint? Penny, have you seen Clint? He looks like a smurf. Hard to miss. I'm trying to save money for my tuition job, but it's hard with my mother out of work. She's not out of work! Oh my lord! Stop moping around and living in the past! She's had a job for like weeks now! My good lord! Hey, Abby. If you want to get on my dad's good side, give him fried calamari. Will do. Thank you very much for the uh, tip there. Here you go. I seriously love this. You're the best, Avak. I, uh, I know. Hey, Lewis. I do my grocery shopping here. Because this is where you sell your produce. And your produce is amazing. Have some golden mayonnaise. Thanks. This is great. You're welcome. Sometimes I get new ID items in stock. So make sure you stop by fairly regularly. And buy as much as you can possibly afford. Well, I'm going to probably make you a little bit poor. Boink. Thank you. Uh, now, parsnips. Four days. Yes. How much should I need? 39. Ah, boss! Why? Why would you let me do this? Why? You... <sighs> I guess I should just be happy for the opportunity to make you more wealthy and to stabilize your business. This is what I'm going to tell myself so that I don't get frustrated. <sighs> my arms are strong, but my legs need work. Yes, it can, Emily. Mine is melted you through a Mr. Sw I what? such a such a bad way of putting it. Couldn't it be a little bit kinder in its description? Well done, Marnie. I think you're doing the right thing. Hello. Oh, they're in the doctor's office. I'll I'll not be dodging in. Hey, Amaru. So buy our house when you need to upgrade your buildings. I will. Here, for you. This is a super gift, thank you. You're welcome. <sighs> right, oh, moving on. My lord. I was part of a Joja commercial that probably killed Clint. He's probably turned into a smurf. He's not coming back, he's dead. Hi, right, do you want to hang out or something? Uh, yeah, sure. Sleeping feels nice, but sometimes I wish I could just skip it. Just such a time waste. I completely agree. One hundred and... Mm, 
112.3%. Haley about? No. Hmm. She might be at the beach then. Shall we go swing by and see if Haley's at the beach? Oh no! No! Akasha! I refuse to abandon you. I could just walk it, but no. Refuse! Haley is not at the beach, but there is a clam. Hey, Elliot. Thank. Oh, a present. Thank you. Uh, that's not actually what I meant to do, but okay. The sweet friction of pen and paper is the music of my soul. That's why I chose this beach as my home, so that I could have peace and quiet to do my work. I'm really disappointed that I just gave you that. Because now I can't give you anything else as well. I have a lobster! I've been trying to give it to you for so long! Oh, Elliot, why? Ah, oh, stupid clown! Why have you betrayed me so? Ah, uh, gold. Okay, maybe I'll accept that as a conciliatory prize. Ah. Uh. I'm sorry. I, I had something so much better for you, and... Uh, oh, well. Let's go and see... Leah. She may be in her house. No. Hmm. Where would you be, then? <laughs> I miss you really badly. I haven't seen you in ages. How can this be? How can I lose an entire person? Let's go and see Rasmodius then. I suppose we can always swing by the um, forest, if nothing else. I can't believe we gave him a clan. I trust you enough to allow you in my basement. Treat what you find there with respect, as you would treat me with respect. Uh, okay, well, at eight hearts now with Wizard. I know your name. Why? Why is he called? That's just so weird. Um, Linus I need to go and drop by. I haven't seen Linus in ages. I can always swing by Linus's tent, though, I suppose. I feel kind of rude to show up in his tent, like, in the middle of the night. Hi! I know you're trying to sleep, and uh, you probably thought I was here to pelt you with stones or something, but I'm actually here to give you some food. Bye! Ooh. Very secretive manner right now. Very secretive manner right now. Ah, I'm about to be ambushed! No! Bad. Haha! Haha! -ha. I'm learning my special attacks. Gonna need a lot of this hardwood if I am going to build the fence around the industrial area that I want. Anyone down here gonna ambush me? No? Okay. This is good. Some horseradish over there, though. Definitely want to take that so I can give it to uh, Corvus. Yoink. Shall leave the slimes over there, just frolicking like slimes. I don't think slimes frolic, actually. I, sp I suspect, strongly suspect, they squelch. Whatever they do, I'm fairly certain it's not fro- Oh, Leah! Hey. Hi. Oh, you want to talk? The landscape around here gives me a lot of ideas. The terrain is almost like a sculpture itself. I don't make art for money. It's just an urge I have. Farming seems like a very rewarding profession. You get to create delicious food for everyone. You're probably busy. Sorry. No, no, I'm, I was I was loving getting to talk to you after so long. Here you go. This is exactly what I wanted. Thank you. Now I can get completely sloshed. And then the creative juices flow much smoother. Um, I really would like to see if I can find Haley actually. Seven PM. We've got enough time to do a little bit more socialising. Hey Jody. 
Exercise is important. It is. Sorry. I didn't mean to block you with my sword. Sorry, I did it again. My nephew Shane has been staying in my place for the last few months. Hey, Haley. Got a present for you. It is a coconut. I assume you have lime. Oh my god, this is my favourite thing! Really? <laughs> I wonder if any nice shells washed up on the beach this morning. Uh, I could bring you one of those if you wanted. This isn't the best time of year for shells, though. Uh, very well. I'll bear this in mind. Okay. Well, that was rewarding. Now to Linus, I think. Give me up, Akasha. We need to get there quick, smart. Uh, we've got one wild horse right We haven't got any. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. No, we can't. I need to swing back the house, by the house, get some proper food, and then go visit Linus. I'm not going to take him a bad meal. I refuse. I refuse. What I will do, however, is build a bunch of stuff for the industrial area. Also, go and close the doors. There we go. Down here the same. No stop help. Right. Got a bunch of stuff on us. I can make a load of fences. I can also work on moving a lot of these things down there. Uh, let's drop those off, actually, for now. The driftwood I need to give her... I forgot, I forgot to give her the driftwood. That's so annoying. Uh, we will take out any hardwood we've got, drop off the slime. Don't need to bring that with us. Uh, we don't need to bring most of these things, honestly, but we will anyway. Grab this. Okay. Um... Grab you. We will be making some... Well, you know what? No, no. I'm, I'm still going to be waiting on... There I was, about to just go ahead with the hardware plan. But I will be waiting on some feedback first. I'm just interested in what people think will be a good um, setup for all of that. But we are going to be going with iron lamps. So, let's go ahead and make four of those. One for each corner. Um, I'll come back up and grab all of the other stuff in just a moment, though. Ah, you scoundrel. I need to fix that. We also need to plant things. So, one goes there. Wow, they generate a lot of light. My lord, this is a good idea. They generate a huge amount of light. I have no idea. Thank you. And let's get some brown eggs in these ones. There we are. Perfect. Right. Now then, let's get the crops planted. That's actually kind of a high priority right now. Well, it's going to be so good in summer when I can just plant all of the same crop here and not have to worry about it. Now, obviously, if I want money, it's cranberry... Uh, sorry, it's blueberries if I want... The important crops, it'll be melons. So what I might do is down on the bottom field, I'll plant some melons down here. And I'll start working on getting all of that up. But this field will just entirely be blueberries just to produce ridiculous amounts of... Oh, let's grab you. Ridiculous amounts of money for us. I think that's going to be pretty important. Now, you're all coming with me. As are you. Come along now. I'll drop off the mayo. And actually, you know what? I'm going to drop off the cheese as well. Uh, the gold can go in there for now. As can the batteries. Yeah, good. Alrighty ho. Now, what do we need to make kegs? Iron, copper, oak resin, and clay. Clay, oak resin. Ah, uh, we haven't got enough iron. Oh, we kind of do. Um, okay, let's head down. Go and start placing these down. 
I'm thinking we will have our furnaces somewhere over here. Uh, perhaps along the side. Again, this is subject to change. I could just move this around, perhaps, but for now, I'll place them there. And some copper, please. In fact, how much is it to make a furnace? Just 20 copper ore and 20 stone. That's actually not that much. We shouldn't have too much trouble with that one. The kegs can go up here, though. And then we'll start lining this area with kegs. We can have preserve jars on the other side. More furnacey stuff down here. Um, you know what? The worm bin? Given that these tend to produce quite actively, and this is right where we'll be using them, we could just have three worm bins down here. That would actually work fine, I think. We are going to want the charcoal kilns around here, and since we're going to be wanting them for this anyway, like we can build that up to five. Maybe have another bunch on this side? I don't know. Um... We'll put the charcoal kilns there. And we'll get these over here. Again, it would make sense to have these nearby, simply because so much junk is going to come out of there for them. So we could perhaps have, have two, and then move up around there. We'll see. We'll definitely have a look at that. I'm going to need all of this. Okay, this is, this is how things need to be going. I approve. Still got a fair old chunk of stuff in my inventory, but we'll deal with that later. It is getting on. We need to go to bed. I'll just drop these off in the produce bin. Then we'll start ferrying down all of the uh, the preserve jars and the kegs from in there as soon as we can. Is that everything? Yeah, the cheese can go as well. Okay, time to snooze. It'll be a little while, unfortunately, because I messed up and started everything again. All right, time for sleep. Tomorrow shall be the flower dance. I'm not, I have no idea yet who I'm going to be dancing with. So uh, if you're particularly fast with the comments, you might even get it in before I do. Right, okay, there we go. That is going to be the end of this episode. And today is going to be the flower dance. We're going to find out who I'll be dancing with in the next episode. I hope you've enjoyed this one, though, and will be joining me for the next. But until then, and as always, do take care.